Okay, so for diminished chords and augmented chords, we'll look at uh, a little example here. Remember, when you're augmenting a chord, you're raising a note. In this case, for an augmented seventh, we're taking the fifth in the, in the key of C. We're taking the fifth and we're going to make it sharp. So it's going to make that C, E, A flat. Remember, the pattern is no matter what key you're playing in, no matter what chords you're playing, if you're going to augment it to lead it in, you're going to raise the fifth a half a step or you're going to make that sharp. So for C, it looks like this. See the difference there? So from C to lead into F, it looked like this. Hear how it transitions? Now, for a diminished chord, what you're going to do, you're going to take the, the, the first note, or the root note, the one, in any chord, you're going to take that and you're going to drop it half a step. Again, conceptually, it looks a little something like this. And a lot of times you're going to roll that into a seventh. A lot of times when you're transitioning and moving down to a seventh. And those are diminished chords. You're always going to move your, your root note, your number one, you're going to move that down half a step, you're going to flat it. So to flat your first, that is a diminished chord.